Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. We're uh, in a Nilf Guardian, abandoned Nilf Guardian camp, and actually, we found a letter and a key. Twifrin, these charlatans are about to begin the amputation. They say I have a chance to pull through, but as with such things, nothing is for certain. Especially as I awoke this morn to discover gangrene had set in. Hence, the reason I write to you now. If you're reading this, it means I did not survive. First and foremost, raise a glass in my honor. Then, make for the trebuchets on the other side of camp. Between them, you'll find some trinkets from Rosberg. I'd plan to return for them myself, but it seems the Great Sun's grace no longer shines upon me. May you emerge from this war in one piece. Igit. So, the fact that this guy just brought back trinkets from Rosberg makes me feel like um, we're already too late. Let's open up the chest with that, and we get uh, the Gascon card. Gascon Plus. We've discovered a card that can be used in Gwent multiplayer. What's so plus about that Gascon? Because Gascon in the in Gwent, uh, I think, has one power. But when you play him, he randomly boosts himself by a number between 1 and 11. If I'm not mistaken, or even 0 and 11. So, a bit of a chester. Yeah, as I suspected, we're too late. Rosberg is destroyed. So the voiceover is gone again. Sadly, it was Rayla who met with her with surprise. A hundred yard gap gaped in the unbreachable walls of Rosberg. The fortress itself was aflame, spewing black smoke into the sky. I don't... How? It can't be. There was no time to consider her question for an Elfgardian scout had spotted me's company. The Queen knew battle was inevitable, so she gave the signal to form a defensive line, then drew her blade. Here we go. With neutral morale, because we don't have any kind of way of boosting morale in this place. The Battle of Rosberg. At the Rosberg, Meave realized Nilfgaard had not started this war simply to draw more favorable political boundaries, nor to shift the continent's balance of power, but to burn the north to the ground and build a new Nilfgaardian dominated world atop the ashes. The Delirians were not fighting for honor nor spoils, but for survival. Prevent the scouts from calling reinforcements. So one round, but we can't let the scouts call for reinforcements. We have enough damage to do that, I think. Egg I'm gonna keep. Um, the Morana runestone I'm gonna get rid of. And then the Cypher is gonna have to go again as well. Grace, the Guardian fighters remain in the city. Okay, so we can't do damage with Egg. That's not that much of a problem. But we can... So after four turns on turn start, summon reserve units. That wish increased their timer by two. Every turn on turn start, reduce the timer by one. When timer expires, draw cards until your hand is full. Damn. I don't have any way of taking care of that. But the North Guardians only have five cards in their hands I'm gonna see if I use Meave's ability now I can take out almost all of them in one go ah! then if I use the slingers I can actually just take them out completely hey. uh, boop, boop, um, boop. so I Oh, so I boosted the... Wow. I boosted the, the countdown timer from the reserves. And then every four turns on turn start, draw a card if you are losing. I can't do that now. That was nothing to spell, hooks. Spawn a random potion in your hand. So I took care of the scouts, which is good. Um... This is weird. I feel like I won before the battle even started. Catch! So let's just set this row on fire. And then the turn. Quiet. The commissar will hear. Bloody horses. They'll pay for this. Well, I don't think they'll have to wait too long for to pay for this. Um let's put Black Ryla on the field and see what happens after oh, that. So no other way. Um and the turn. Because I don't know what cards would be best for this. Shice, int. 
Uh, let's just wait one more turn with the slingers, because I think I might be able to just put that card on the other side. Foraging, maybe. Play a card from your deck. Could just use Gascon. I think Gascon might be the better option here. Yeah, let's just put Gascon on the field as well. Nothing personal. Which means I we still you. don't have a, a card on the field. So let's just use the stray slinger to move. Ever have a stone, knock out one of your teeth. Um I think I'm gonna attack one of my own units. Just to have egg boost a bit. There we go. And then and the turn. Off to the front yet again. Just do that again, I suppose. Have it the white of an eye from our fully away. Uh there and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. there. So that boosts gas going even further. So now but yeah, it took one card just because... I refuse to believe it. The king could not have died here. Wait, this... Ah, it has heal now, yeah. Okay, never mind. The Let's keep going. Shall be punished. Very good. Okay. Um, let's use the Rivian Broadsword to attack those Dale and Foot Soldiers. That boosts, of course, that guy, but that's not a problem. I think I'm going to use the Lyrian Horn. Because I want to boost my units as high as possible. And maybe it damages one of my units, so egg goes a bit higher. Quiet. What comes out here? Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a problem. So, next up is supposed to be... Because this set... A unit's power equal to the units on the left. Okay. Store two cards to the right. I wonder how that works. So if I put it over here. If the ring won't come off, just take the is whole it finger. like this? Yeah, okay. So you can't choose which units actually get boosted, but there we go. Should I just pass now? Because I feel. Or he just gets cards, right? When time expires, draw cards until your hand is full. Well, might as well just keep going. Um, if anyone asks, there we go. You've not seen. Me. So he keeps pulling cards, but I don't think he will be allowed to do anything else. So I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass. There we go. Watch for Demoven's banners. If he's here. Oh look, he's even him. surrendering. Victory. So another batch of Nilf Guardians taken out. So yeah, luckily we pulled forward with the damaging there. The Lyrians met one note of luck in this song of woe. Rosberg had fallen, yes, but the Nilf Guardians, not expecting reinforcements from the south, had stationed only a small detachment to hold it. Meave led their men to victory and retook the fortress, or rather, what was left of it. What they did not demolish during their assault, the Nilf Guardians burned once inside the city. Countless charred corpses of both defenders and peasants seeking shelter from the invaders lay among the blackened ruins. Some had tried to shield their children from the fire with their own bodies, to no avail. God be damned, the queen cried, pounding her fists against the wall. Neve was about to give the order to move on when she caught a stifled whimper coming from a pile of rubble. Her soldiers ran to the rescue, their bare hands digging through the fiery bricks. Here, he's alive! The man they pulled from the ruins had suffered horrible burns. His face was a stew of seared flesh and pus-filled boils, and he reeked of burnt meat. Seeing Black Rayla, the poor soul staggered to his feet and lifted a shaking hand in salute. Engineer Lieutenant Xavier Lem, so I don't know why the voiceover is gone again, reporting for duty. Medic, send for a medic. Lem, lemons? What the devil's happened? I, I know not. The East Tower, I led the defense, heating oil to tan of Guardian hides. A catapult struck, the cauldron tipped, burst into flames. The rest, I cannot say. The fortress fell. Fell. Damn, Squiretel. What was that? 
Our preparations were perfect, and months, too, we could have lasted, but traitors were among us. Elves, dwarves, planted charges on the buttresses. An explosion shook the tower, a hole gaped in the wall. Our men threw themselves in, filling the breach. Vermin. Filthy, rotten vermin. I know you suffer, soldier, but Queen Meave wishes to meet with your sovereign, Damavent. We must know what's become of him. Gone, luckily. He oversaw the preparations and returned to Aldersburg. Two, three days passed. Then let us do the same. Reynard, prepare our departure. Hold, your grace. Did, did anyone survive? Anyone at all? I, the Nilfgaardians might have taken prisoners. Indeed, they might have. There's still hope. How could they? An entire detachment, an entire city, the animals. Soldier, the medics will tend to you as best they can, then we can escort you home if... This is my home, your grace. Rosberg. I beg you, let me join your company. Let me exact revenge. I respect your fighting spirit, good man, but in your state... Your grace, I can hold neither shield nor sword, but I can still fight. In my own way. I'm an engineer. I build siege towers, ballistae, bridges, whatever you wish. I pray, grant me a chance. Such pain, such ferocity resounded in Xavier's rasping, distorted voice that Meave could not refuse his plea. Once the medics had bandaged his wounds, Meave's men set out towards Aldersburg, following Damavent and the Nilfgaardians. At one point in their journey, Black Rayla rode up next to Meave. The warrior's lips were a thin line, bitten to blood. So uh, this card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent, Xavier Lemon. So that's actually a card that's in Gwent as well now, and I was wondering where that came from. Because I didn't recognize the character in any way. So there we go. Milady. The road to Aldersburg leads through Mulderwood, where Eldane's Squiatel prowl. Same filth who killed my men and delivered Rosberg to the Black Butchers. Rayla breathed deeply to steady her furious, shaking voice. Please, Milady. I ask you upon all the holies, let us find them and destroy them. Meave gave a slight nod, and seemed the road to Aldersburg would prove long and full of challenges. So again, sadly the voiceover just disappeared there, but I'm, hope, uh, I'm hoping I was uh, an adequate replacement for that. Is not with us. There we go. Were he to see what lies before our eyes, caught a whiff of the burnt bodies, perhaps he would see with whom he now consorts. Whom he allowed in our home with nary a fight. If it be your majesty's wish, I shall send a rider to the prince with her. I wish nothing of the sort. I will not correspond with the enemy. So yeah, she really doesn't like her son anymore. Uh, although I still feel like it's a just a child almost that was manipulated that way. So next objective, make our way through Mulderwood. I'm going to check out the letters because we got a new report. Eldane's Commando. Fresh reports indicate elf named Eldane commands powerful force in Mulderwood. Numbers equal or exceed your majesty's company. Extreme caution advised. Eldane's background. Assimilated merchant operating in Gullet area. Radicalized after family killed in 1246 pogrom. Eyewitnesses state Eldane cannot be trusted. He honors no pact and never keeps his word. Good thing we realized that because I'm going to assume that's going to be... Part of a question, a dilemma. Damn, they really demolished this place, didn't they? Holy crap. Okay, moving straight into another Nilfgaardian camp, it seems. Or is this... Oh, this is the same camp. Wait, where do we need to go then? So we have... Oh, there's another bridge. Because that's a puzzle we haven't checked yet. Yeah, and that's probably the Mulderwood. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and that's the only question mark we missed, so we're fine. So we need to go towards that puzzle. So to the north, and then to the west. Okay. Because this, this is the way we entered, and for some reason the game put us a bit further to the side. But I assumed that we just crossed that bridge because it looked really, really similar. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same bridge. Um, so moving on. And we have a shrine to boost our morale. Which, I don't know why it does that. I feel like it might might bring us in problems. Okay. Where's the king? Why'd he leave us a black lad mercy? They took everything. I'd head to the wood, but my fear of the Scoia'tael. 
They took everything. Okay, so his fear for the Squiretel stopped everybody from fleeing to the woods as well. So these people had nowhere to go. I wonder how these guys actually survived. So that was 22 troops. Fair enough. Uh, I actually want to take a look at my troops. But first, let's check out the notice board. And that adds a few more question marks on the board here. Those two. So we'll bump into something before we head to the puzzle. And those seem like elven ruins. So let's check out the command tent. So our new card, Xavier Lemons. Choose a card with order and give it one charge. And he himself has two charges. Interesting, but I don't think we have a lot of things with charges right now, do we? Uh, not to say... Yeah, the regiment drummers have charges. Which makes this a little bit interesting. He does cost a whopping 12 to add to your deck. You know what? Why not? Uh, I'm just gonna try and range this a bit so I can add him to the deck. So I remove the slinger and the infiltrator. And that's gonna be enough. Because uh, I think the infiltrator, does that actually work? Yeah, it doesn't work on bosses. So usually the benefit we'll get from that is minimal. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Xavier Lemons added. And I'm assuming... We might actually be able to do something more now that we have. Because he's an engineer, right? Although it doesn't seem like anything has been added. It's just the same stuff. I do want to have a little chat with the man. So both Black Rayla and Xavier have new things to say. Majesty, so let's talk to Xavier first. Meaning to thank you Look, his voice. Me to join your ranks. He looks horrible, by the way. I'm sorry about that, but damn, son. Certainly, Xavier. I welcome all foes of Nilfgaard to march beneath my banner. And from now on, I will call him Xavier. Never mind. What did the field surgeon say? Have you not resumed work too soon? I have strength enough to wield a hammer. Though my scars still burn, and fiercely so. My lady, I have seen folk turn and frown at the very sight of me. If my appearance disgusts you, I can... Oh, come on, man. Nonsense. The Nilfgaardians, not you, should be ashamed. You've no reason to hide, no reason to cower. Thank you, my lady. It means a great deal to hear that. Okay, tell me a bit more about yourself. You've long served in King Demoven's army, haven't you? Yes, Your Grace. Why enlist at all? What prompted you to do so? Hmm. The King needed engineers. I answered the call. Not terribly talkative, are you? I can build any bridge, any ballista. But to talk, well, it hurts to talk. I see. Well, do not worry. I prefer deeds to words, in myself and others. Oh, poor man. Uh, we shall speak oh, later, indeed. My attention. We shall speak later. As you wish, my lady. Goodbye, Xavier. Okay, and then we have Rayla. Yes. Uh, tell me more about Eldane. This Eldane. Could you tell me about him? He should hang. I okay. don't want to hear advice that will be useful to us in battle. Hmm. First of all, you can't rightly trust the bastard. He doesn't respect our laws, doesn't share our morals. The king once dispatched an envoy to Eldane, despite my advice to the contrary. Found the envoy the next day, eyes gouged out, shaft of his white flag jammed down his throat. Wow. So, diplomacy is clearly not the wisest course. But what of battle? What tactics does he employ? Like all elves, he's a worm. Avoids open confrontation, sets ambushes, attacks from the shadows, from midst the trees. It would be best to burn this whole forest to the ground, deprive him and his folk of cover, any place to hide. So I feel like if we ever encounter a friendly dwarf or elf, we're gonna lose Rayla. Sounds rather drastic. Like tossing the babe out with the bath. Believe me, they'd not hesitate to do the same to us. Not for a moment. Okay, seeing Eddon in flames, that was hard, I assume. Rayla, how are you holding up? Not certain I understand what you mean. <laughs> All Eddon is aflame. Nilfgaard's banners fly over its cities. Don't tell me you're not troubled. Of course I'm troubled. I stationed at Rosberg for five years. Knew all on the crew there by name. But that's war. That's its nature. No sense bemoaning it. I see. Just know if ever you wish to talk. I won't. But I do appreciate your concern, ma'am. Okay, you're welcome, Rayla. 
Uh, the way it sometimes just skips over options or goes illogically to op certain options, it's really, really annoying. But that's pretty much my only complaint with the game, by the way. So, uh, moving on. A bit of a travel marker so we can fast travel back to here. And then cross the bridge and I think we should bump into a question mark. Right about now, I think. Now? Meeve's yeah. ears caught the sound of a ruckus coming from the camp. Feet! Ingrid! A pox upon you all! It was her quartermaster hurling oaths at the peasants she had freed from the Nilfgaardian slave convoy. A few had stolen supplies under the cover of darkness and escaped into the woods. Terror and dread gripped the other freed prisoners. Meeve mulled over what to do with them, and Reynard, as always, offered some advice. Tis high time they went off on their own, Your Grace. They are too great a hindrance. They slow our march, divert our soldiers from more important tasks. And now this. Gascon was listening to their conversation. Meeve shot him a questioning look. I opposed taking them in. So, for consistency, I now oppose forcing them to leave. <laughs> we made their miserable lives our responsibility, did we not? Well then, that is a burden we cannot simply shrug off. He has... Oh, I hate agreeing with Gascon, but... Um... Mm, this is annoying. I feel like we're going to be punished later on if we... I mean, we have been punished already. Because I feel like we lost some provisions. I didn't see it pop up on the right, but... Yeah, I, 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 I hate it that I said I'm going to always go for Reynard, and now I, it's the second time I'm going to defy him. Um... Yeah, let the peasants stay. This is not mince words. We cast off these peasants now, they shall die. Meave said in the end. Let them stay. But I want them watched. They cause any more trouble, military justice they shall face. Understood? The freed prisoners sighed with relief. The infantrymen assigned to watch over them, however, grumbled their disapproval of the Queen's decision. Yeah, yeah there goes the morale. Not a shelter, they said. Meave's ears surely caught the complaint. But the Queen had never let the opinions of others guide her in such matters, trusting only her own judgment. I'm gonna have to be careful with decisions like these. Um, yeah, there goes morale. So we went from green back to orange, so to the middle. Uh, I know there's another question mark up here. Uh, since we have neutral morale, it doesn't seem like we're gonna have to fight that little doggy. So let's just take a look. Because I think this dog actually has an avatar in Gwent. Not liking the looks of this, Gascon said, furrowing his brow. Meave followed his gaze. Before them, beside the road, stood a hut with a scorched thatch roof. Why? Huts abandoned, yet dried fruit and mushrooms hang from the eaves. Famine raging all around and no one's been tempted. I'd send a scout if I were you. The Queen did as Gascon suggested and sent three infantrymen to reconnoiter. They entered the hut and found only silence that was soon broken by a blood-curdling growl. The soldiers ran out at full speed, tripping over their own legs. Well, it's sad that we already saw the dog, otherwise this would have been a bit more funny. Me drew her sword, convinced a horde of oh, look at ghouls that. would soon attack. But her fears proved unfair. What a cutie! Instead of monsters, out of the hut came a shaggy dog. A torn scrap of fabric clutched in its teeth. Uh, milady, One of the soldiers began, his face red with embarrassment and his hands covering a hole in his breeches. Uh, was dark as a well inside uh, and that hound. He jumped out at us all of a sudden biting it and snapping. <laughs> Bad boy, Gascon said awesome. with a smile. Then pulled a hunk of dried sausage from his bag. Bought by this generous offering, the dog calmed down at once. Oh, I love this. A bit of funny music in the background. I'm just looking at my screen with a funny smile on my face. A stupid smirk. Further examination showed the dog was the hut's only resident. Like many others in Edern, its owners had disappeared without a trace. Their loyal mutt still guarded the premises, waiting for his master's return. Let's take him with us, Gascon said. Otherwise, he'll die here of his own hunger or someone else's. Yes, 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 we're gonna take the dog. Of course we're gonna Watch take the dog. Like Look at the cutie. Useful in our camp, said the queen. Fine, we can join. 
but he shall need a name. How about Raynard? Proposed <laughs> Jasper, a cheeky grin smeared across his face. <laughs> that way, he'll come when you call, sit on command, and always be a heel. Oh man. That is. What's your words? Said Raynard, hand tightly gripping the hilt of his sword. Or you'll learn I'm not at all as tame as you believe. Enough, both of you. That's an order. As for you... The Queen took a good look at the dog, who still had a scrap of fabric in his teeth. Since it seems you have a taste for the cloth of the nether regions, I dub you... Knickers. Knickers! The dog wagged its tail vigorously, as if thoroughly pleased with its new name. Meave's oh, company marched off, awesome. a furry new recruit richer. Oh, I love the positive notes in the story as well. Look at that, Knickers! Oh yeah! Oh, what a nice card! Arf, arf! <coughs> Trophy! Ah, oh, Knickers! Look at that! He has bones inside of an elf guardian helmet. I want to check out the dog. What the hell can he do? I'm really curious what the hell he, he can actually do. Knickers! Immune and permanent resilience. When you play a gold card, summon Knickers from your deck. This unit may raid your hand for yummy treats. Uh, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait a second, what? This unit may raid your hand for yummy treats? If you don't have sausage, he's not interested. Um, well, it's only five. God damn it, I'm gonna add a freaking dog to my deck. Um, let's remove... Let's, let's play around with this a bit. Uh, let's remove one of the bombers. Because I don't have anything that has five aside from the drummers, but I want to keep at least those two drummers. Uh, so I'm going to remove the bomber and get Knickers in there. We'll see how he plays out. We have six golden characters right now. Which is really good. And I at least want to try that out in one more battle, but I think the next battle is a puzzle battle, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm guessing we won't be able to check that this episode. So let's check over here. Wasn't there a puzzle over here? No, seems like we're just resources. Thought there was, right next to the... Oh, yeah, it's below us. Well, not below, but to the south. Was hiding in the tree there for a second so let's move down the game is saving we get more wood always need more wood 54 that's not a lot but i'm gonna take whatever i can get and now we have more knickers so let's uh or is that no that's a foglet foglet there we go in the fog, in order to evade Nilf Guardian patrols, Meave veered from the main road. This detour, however, presented all these dangers. The Lydians lost their way riding through a mist-draped forest. Following a narrow, overgrown path, they stumbled upon a ruined homestead. It appeared abandoned, yet appearances can be deceiving. Eliminate the ancient foglet and do not let Meave die, obviously. So, uh, just straightforward taking out the foglet. Okay, seems like a complicated setup here, so the Foglet on turn starts, spawn two Foglets, no ability, and the Foglets, yeah, we will see that in a second if they're the same as the previous Foglets we've seen. Damage unit by two if it was destroyed, repeat this ability, give one charge to the card on the right, and then what does this do? Permanent resilience and a mobile, okay. Let's start out with the Wagenberg. And then the third. Every turn on turn end, move one row towards the opponent. If on the melee row, destroy a random palisade instead. If there are no palisades, destroy Meave. Death Wish, damage the ancient forklift by five. Interesting. So let's use the stray slingers then. Slings, they hide well. That's not a good idea, probably. That's not a good idea. Um, let's set the back row on fire. I think I can survive two palisades taken out. So if I just that. set the back row on fire, I should be fine for now. 
So they're gonna take out Palisades and move forward. Should have probably put the, the front row on fire. Okay, so let's use the Stray Slinger. And use them on the other Foglets. And the turn. There we go. Then we can use... Um... The Rivian Sapper. Stop your yapping and start digging. To just do that. And that. That took out a lot of the Foglet's health. And then and the turn I can take another uh, another one if I want to. I could just use the Wagenberg now. And then damage. Use the Rivian Sapper. Gonna need um, to damage a Foglet. Damage place. another Foglet. And then that one. And if I'm lucky with the fire, I actually kill him now. Don't seem to. But with the Lyrian Hajduk. I can actually damage him once right, more right, with uh, the Wagenberg. Ah, we take him out. There we go. I'm actually on a roll with the puzzles. I haven't needed to retry any battles in the last two episodes. Which is not bragging, I'm just surprised because some of these puzzles are a bit harder. So you can't see what the, the solution is beforehand. A letter, this forest belongs to the end shade. Leave this place at once, cursed one, or you shall remain here for all eternity. Eldane. So if you're not familiar with the elven language, Dwan is the elven word for human. But yeah, a bit, a bit more with a negative connotation. So uh, there we go. And I think I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next time we'll keep going through the Mulderwood because I think next up is a big ravine that we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to pass through. So uh, that will definitely be interesting. So thank you guys so much for watching, and hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.